Hi everyone! It's science time again! It's me, your science teacher, Teacher Adeline, always saying, Knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. Are you ready to learn? Come on, let's go! Changes is the only constant in this world. And matter changes physically or chemically. Let's take a look. What do I have? Yes, very good. I have a paper. Let us see what will happen to a paper. Wow! It turns into an origami. What did you notice about the paper that turns into an origami? Does it change? Yes, you're right. It change. How the paper change? Come again. It change by folding the paper. Very good. Now take a look at this one. Does a material change? How? Magnificent. The material change by melting. Is the composition change? Very good. The composition doesn't change. This is what we call physical change. Physical change is a change in the form and appearance of a matter with its composition remaining the same. Examples are change in state or pace like melting freezing evaporating and many more. Change in size and shape, like cutting, folding, crumpling, twisting, pounding, Stretching, pressing, tearing, and many more. Change in color from the fruits and vegetables when ripening. How about this one? How do a bread made? Exactly. Bread is made by mixing flour with other ingredients to make a dough and bake in an oven. Does it change the components of the materials? Yes, you're right. The component change by applying heat to the material. Chemical change is a change in a material that results in the formation of a new substance. 
Examples are burning of paper. After applying heat to the material, there is a new substance formed. The paper turned into ash and the process is irreversible. Frying an egg is also an example of chemical change. The egg changed its chemical bond after heating and new particles are created. Presence and absence of oxygen can bring change to a material. Rusting is also an example of chemical change. It is caused by the reaction of iron with the presence of oxygen in the air. Cutting an apple and let it expose to oxygen may lead to change in color of the inner part of the apple. The inner part of the apple with the presence of oxygen may undergone chemical change. Decaying is also an example of chemical change. The material change its composition due to formation of gas bubbles when rotting. Hope you learn a lot! Thank you for watching! God bless!